King Koopa, or Bowser, gets his second amiibo figure. Hey Nintendo fans and collectors, Lithium here from my channel Nintendo Collecting, bringing you an unboxing video and review of this Bowser, which is from the Super Mario line. Now I must mention that this is the second Bowser out, the first one was out for Super Smash Bros, so I do have one to compare that to because it is a different style of packaging and it is slightly a different figure and the coloring is different, so I'll go through those details later in the video once I actually unbox it. But first things first, let's just take a look at the box packaging for this because it is pretty well done, as are the ones for Super Smash Bros. Here you have the style or the different line of these. This is the Super Mario line. It says his name Bowser right there. You also see his name going up the side this time on this line, which is pretty cool. And you have Bowser in the background with kind of a gray, black, and white background. That is some sort of a line pattern, I guess. And here's Bowser. We'll get to his pose in a minute once I actually unbox him. Still says Nintendo Amiibo and has that choking hazard on the side. On the back of these ones, they're specific to Mario Party 10, which I do find interesting because I know that these are going to be available or compatible for other games, I would expect. I don't expect them to release Bowser like six times. They might just change the back on these in the future. This one's for Mario Party 10, as I said. Play with Amiibo in Mario Party 10 because there's a specific mode called Amiibo Party that you can actually use, and you will get a different board in the side of the game when you scan in Bowser. Collect items and power-ups. Party it up with Bowser on a Bowser-themed board, just as I mentioned right there. So this obviously is an official Nintendo item. These usually cost $15 or less, depending on your area or your region. And let's just compare the box packaging briefly to the one from the Super Smash Brothers. You can see that Bowser on the left side, he does look a little bit more angry, a little more vicious, a little bit more ready to fight. And in this one, perhaps he's more ready to party. I guess that's the idea. Very similar poses, which I will get to. So on the fronts, they do look kind of similar. And if you look at the back, obviously one's just directed towards Super Smash Brothers. The other one's directed towards Mario Party 10. Makes sense. And I also have a Bowser that is unpackaged that I can compare it to when we get to that point. I'm going to use my X-Acto knife and open this one up. And most of this series of the Super Mario figures are remakes, or I would say they're not remakes, but they're versions of Amiibo that have already come out, like Mario and Luigi and Yoshi. They're all repeats, and there's a few other ones as well. Toad is the only original one. I have already unboxed Toad, so you might want to check out that video. That's the only original character in the Super Mario line. And of course, Bowser is one of the iconic characters in Super Smash Bros. He's been in it for a very long time. And he's been Mario's nemesis for so many games that if you show him to almost any random person, almost everyone knows who Bowser is. I think he's a pretty cool character. I think he's making the turtles proud and he actually gives something to a lot of people that they didn't really think about before. What's a villain? What's in a villain? How do you come up with a villain? How did they come up with a turtle? Because that is completely different and completely random, I guess, how you come up with anything. But I guess going into pipes, going down them, maybe you're going to find some turtles down there. Kind of maybe inspired by the Ninja Turtles? I don't really know. Actually, I'm not 100% sure which came first. Maybe you should answer that. What came first? You should probably pretty easily figure that out with a Google search, actually. Ninja Turtles or Bowser? All right, so there we go. We got him out of the package. Just tilt that down. And this one has a few parts because he's such a gigantic character. So just going to leave that over there. Now this is a lot brighter, I can tell, right away compared to the other Amiibo figure for Bowser. But let's just see if we can get his pose. Hopefully you can see the detail work on this guy. I love the flame hair that he's got and his eyebrows are truly outstanding. That's flame red. I really like it. He's got horns there. His teeth are well done. You can see his tongue in there and his mouth. His chin, it looks like maybe there's a seam right there that you can kind of partially see. And there's a seam on his jaw which is just maybe part of his jaw, or maybe that is the way it's supposed to be made. I like what he's wearing, the rings with the spikes around himself, and the detail work actually on his legs is truly remarkable. So hopefully the camera's picking up all that kind of detail work. It looks like he's a dinosaur, obviously he's a turtle of some sort. King Koopa, really cool. His hands are well detailed as well. I love the spikes on his back on his shell. Those look absolutely fantastic. This is a really, really, really highly detailed figure. Well done, even his stomach looks good. All of it, his skin's just very impressive. He looks very, very menacing in this look. But the coloring is a bit more bright, a bit brighter than the previous one. I'll get to that in a minute. Checkerboard base on the bottom and a red base as well. So this figure, first of all, let me just give you my review of it. I think this is really outstanding. He's quite tall. Let's just take a look at how tall he is first, just in inches. He's 3.75 inches tall. 
And then if we go over to centimeters and millimeters, millimeters, it looks like he's about 90 millimeters tall, maybe nine centimeters, something of that sort. He is huge, gigantic, pretty heavy, very hefty character as he should be because Bowser is pretty big. Now comparing it to the other Bowser from Super Smash Brothers, right away you can see the coloring differences. The one on the right is the Mario Party 1. It's a lot brighter color tone and everything just seems to pop more. This one seems a bit more vicious, a little bit more serious, and this one seems a bit more brighter, a bit more happy. So his skin is obviously a brighter yellow. The flames are a bit brighter. Even the green looks like it's slightly different. On the back, when you look at the shell and the spikes, there's just actually, that's kind of interesting to note that this one's a bit more brown or burnt orange, and this one's a bit more brighter orange of some sort. So I don't know why they changed that as well. And it's so weird to me that these are almost the exact same pose. Like, let's be honest. There's probably a few other Bowser poses that you could do. And both of these, the left hand is up, the right hand's kind of grabbing this one up, this one to the right. So that is very, very different, very strange. At least the facial expression is almost the exact same. I think the head on this Bowser is slightly bigger. So that's slightly bigger. I don't really know why they made only very small changes. I wish they went with a completely different pose. But you can tell that these are different figures just by picking them up. So if you've got one that's brighter colored, then you know that you have the Mario Party 1. If you have one that's a bit darker colored, then obviously that's the one for Super Smash Brothers. The skin texture on this one kind of looks like a cross stitch. And on this one, it just kind of looks like more like skin. So I actually like the skin on this one a lot more than this one. This one is more akin to Bowser to me. It looks like he's a bit brighter from the games. Makes me feel a little bit happier, even though he's Mario's nemesis and the villain. I would give this figure a really high score. I think this is really well made. If this one came out first, it would do really, really well. But this one, I, I've got to give it a 9.5 to a 10 out of 10. I think it's nearly flawless. If you're a Bowser fan or a Mario fan in general, I think you're going to absolutely love having this amiibo in your collection, especially if you can find it for like $13, $15 or less, something like that. Really good figure, and it's also usable in several different games made by Nintendo and a few other games as well. So you can use it in Mario Party 10 predominantly, but I think this is a 10 out of 10, 9.5 out of 10 to 10 out of 10. Pretty perfect figure. Love the coloring, love the style. I just really wish it was a different pose than the other one. I don't know why they're so similar. That is very strange to me to do that. Maybe it's Nintendo capitalizing and making a lot of money. Of course it is. They're a company that wants to make money. But this is bright. It's colorful. Really cool Amiibo. I would love to hear your opinion of the Bowser Amiibo. Please comment below. Do you think it's worthwhile getting both of them? And do you think it's strange that the pose is almost the exact same? Will you be picking up this Mario Amiibo? This Bowser Amiibo, not Mario, anytime soon. Thanks so much for watching. Feel free to fill that like bucket. Follow me on all the social media links in the description below the video. And remember, as always, go collect them all and keep smiling while gaming.